our next presenter is seen in films as a sexy seductress who makes a habit of having one night stands, so she's a natural to present men's pro basketball player of the year. Here she is, Linda Fiorentino, right over here. Um, before I present the ESPY for Pro Basketball Player of the Year, I'd like to say that in the last few days, I've refed a celebrity basketball game, I coached the Western Conference rookie squad, and I hurt my hip flexor playing ball today, and I'm a little sick of basketball, so let's get on with it. Um, the nominees for Men's Basketball Player of the Year. Men's Pro Basketball Player of the Year, Grant Hill. Only player in NBA to lead team in points, rebounds, assists, steals, and minutes. Voted to all NBA first team. Wow! <laughs> Michael Jordan. Yes, what a play by Michael Jordan. What a record ninth scoring title and fifth career playoff MVP. Jordan took out. Carl Malone won his first league MVP became only the fifth player in history to have 25,000 points and 10,000 rebounds. And the SB goes to uh, Michael Jordan. Michael couldn't be here tonight because he's too busy taking Kobe Bryant to school, so... Uh, <laughs> Here to present, uh, to accept the award for Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. This means a lot. <clears throat> for those of you listening in on ESPN Radio, I am not Michael Jordan. Although I have been uh, confused for Eddie Murphy. Uh, I know that uh, most of you know that Michael was too sick to play in last night's game. That's why I'm here. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to accept for Mike as a way of th saying thanks for all the thrills. and also as an opportunity to speak directly, truthfully, and honestly, as I'm sure Michael would if he were here this evening. First of all, I'd like to thank all of my teammates. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <clears throat> Not really. Secondly, I'd like to thank Coach Phil Jackson. Uh, I think, uh, I really hope he's back next year. I think the five championship rings that he wears are proof to Bulls management that he's without question the greatest assistant coach I've ever had. <laughs> and I've had some great ones too. Dean Smith, um, Phil Collins, <laughs> uh, Locks. I'd also you know, try to, like to try to make my peace with Bulls management, especially with General Manager Jerry Krause. I know a lot of people feel we don't see eye to eye, and I don't mean that as a joke. <laughs> but I've come to believe that he is truly a basketball animal. The eye of an eagle, the heart of a lion, and the body of a shrimp. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Children of America for making me their role model, for making me set my goals higher and higher, forcing me, pushing me to achieve them. And I'd like to thank the children of Asia for making all those damn shoes for me. <laughs> <clears throat> and, a, and a hell of a lot of money, no kidding. And I set them some impossible goals, almost impossible goals. They said they didn't think they could do it, and I said, just do it. <laughs> Finally, Finally, I, somewhere in my heart, I hope that I, I never win, win this award again because it occurs to me if I do, I'll, act, I'll, actually, I'll actually have to be here and show up. <laughs> oh, God.
Come at the ESPYs. Appearances by Matt Damon, Penny Marshall, and Robert Duvall. Up next, the best of the best, Michael Jordan, Junior Griffey, Barry Sanders, and Tiger Woods. All five for male athlete of the year.